Okay, that looks like it should be live. I am currently just letting people know that this thing's even happening. Just decided to open up some cards today. Would have done it yesterday. I got them yesterday, but I've been busy. I didn't even schedule this. We're just doing random card opening. Okay, so let's get the final pieces here set up. Music should be playing. No. Oh. Apparently it showed up on the Majigger do. I'm gonna share that differently. Gonna pop this in to use a promos. I don't want it to be on the main news. Ciao. Bam. It's up there. Beautiful. All right. Let's let Twitter know. Let's also not close YouTube Studio since I kind of need to leave that open to monitor this jazz. Thank you, Arlen, for the wish of good luck. I'm gonna need it. I can actually only see out of one freaking eye right now. So hopefully I don't misread anything that I'm getting here. I also got to up the resolution on my dang uh, computer too. Uh, or rather, lower it? I don't know. Make it so the words are bigger. That's all I need to do. Tweeted. Gone. We are good there. All right, great. Let's uh, ex zoom in here. Oh, that's much better. That's much easier to see. Except I can also see a lot less. Oh, well. It'll work. We'll just change my position, move my mic into place, and we're going to get this party started. Okay, let's see. What's up, Elemis17? Welcome to the party. We're going to get this going. I have uh, lots of cards to open. I'm actually not going to open a huge number. I'm going to open up one box of these. I got three boxes. Let's just go ahead and pull those in here. Ciao. There we go. We got one, two, and the lucky one we're going to be opening today, number three, right here. We also have this pack. I don't even remember what promo pack this is, but... It's a promo pack nonetheless. It's a uh, Metal Greymon on it. I'm going to assume there's Metal Greymon on it. It's four cards. I have no recollection of what this is. And then I ordered through Japan You Want, so I have a P.O. Mon starter. Yay. Good for me. I have like a million of these, but I do appreciate Japan You Want sending in cards. They used to send Hyper Coliseum cards, which I really loved getting, but they uh, switched over to the new card game. Makes sense. They were also running low on Hyper Coliseum cards. I got like a random option card one time, which uh, wasn't thrilling. But whatever. So, got this box. There's 112 cards in this set, apparently. I have been paying almost no attention to the releases for this um, this series. The other two series, uh, Booster 1 Booster 2, I was reading everything adamantly, keeping track of everything. There's keywords I can't even remember the purpose of in this set. So, hopefully some of you can help me out with uh, these, uh, with these cards. Because ever since they announced the English version, I'm like, well... Oh, I don't even need to collect the Japanese version anymore if they're going to make an English one. So this is the last set of boxes I'm buying for the Japanese version. I uh, got a complete set of the non-parallel arts for Booster 1. I got most of the cards for Booster 2. I never pursued getting more. And then we'll see how many I get from this one. Um, as usual, there are four commons, one uncommon, and then the sixth card of each pack will either be a uh, rare, super rare, or secret rare. Um, there are a total of three super rares in the box and one secret rare. And some people in the last booster got a fourth super rare, and maybe I will this time too. I don't know. It seems that there's a little bit of, uh, how do you say, variance in that. So we'll see what we can acquire. Um, oh, I got an Atmon card. More. I used to get Atmon cards too. Uh, I got one with like a mouse on it once. And then, of course, I get Tamagotchi cards whenever I order Tamagotchi stuff. So we got our handy scissors over here. Let's go ahead and... Uh, Get the tape off of this. 
so we can take a look and see what delicious goodies wait for us inside. Not to be confused with the actual delicious goodies that I usually get from Japan you want. If you've never tried Kinoko no Yama, I highly recommend it. Delicious chocolate mushrooms, not actual mushrooms. I, you've probably heard me talk about them before because I just really like them. So, all right, here we go. Boosters. We got our box topper. Cool. It's going to be one of these guys, I guess. And then we got our actual booster packs. All right, bye box. We don't need you no more. We just need the actual packs, so turn those right side up. Some of them at least. There we go. Take a look. They look beautiful. Wonderful. How many packs are in these boxes? We got 24 packs in this box in addition to the one box topper as well. So we will have, uh, yeah, we got quite a few cards to go through. I got my scissors. I got my packs. I'm going to move these out of the way. Let's, uh, let's go. Let's make this happen. I swear, you guys talk more about the candy on Japan you want at this point than the products. I mean, it's delicious. Order some. Good heavens. <laughs> It's, uh, there's got so many. We tried the peach gummies, uh, my wife and I did in the last batch we ordered, and uh, they were super tasty. I forget what the brand was, but I like them. I keep trying to try something new every time I go instead of just ordering Kinoko no Yama because uh, there's, a, there's a lot of good stuff to be had. I like foreign candy. Sweden has my favorite candy, though, by far. Um, Marabo chocolate bars, those are the flipping best. I love those things so much. Wish freaking Sweden would sell my stuff. All right, so here we go. Let's look at these cards. Again, hopefully I can remember everyone who is in here. Um, well, we have that. Let's go ahead and put our manual focus off, or manual focus on, so we can get this just right. And you're going to have to help me out. If I don't put this in proper focus, it's mostly because, again, I'm slightly blind right now. Not on purpose, I promise. I was just stabbed by a plant. Not a digital plant, just a normal freaking plant. Okay, that's definitely blurrier. We've got the, there we go, right there, boom, perfect. All right, so we got Jewel Beam on. There he is, looking good. He's uh, everyone's favorite, but I don't want Sting on to evolve into Dino Beam on substitute. But I like Dino Beam on, so whatever. And we got, let's help put the greens there, right over there. You get out of the way, we need more room than that. So greens will go right there. We have uh, somebody's attack. Who the frick even is that? Is that Blitz Greymon? Yeah, it's Blitz Greymon. Okay, so Blitz Greymon doing a thing. Keep it up. You're doing great. And we got Dokugumon. Cool. Like that. Classic Nightmare Soldier turned Jungle Trooper. We've got uh, Rapidmon, the perfect level Rapidmon, not the armor one. And it's green. Okay, sure. Why not? Upamon, second time appearing in the card game. We got, as our uncommon, we got Dice K in the blue version. And what the crap is this? An advertisement. Where's my card? Was that six? What the crap is this? I don't want to. I don't care about your dang old TV show. You're okay. You're the rare. So you're the uncommon. Did I get? Yeah. Okay. No. I just don't know how to count. Boom. Sorry. I saw 2020 and got worried that they got me uh, gypped. Watch the anime. I already do it. They don't need to advertise. I don't even like the anime, and I still watch every freaking episode like a hungry seven-year-old child with this breakfast cereal out every night at. 10:30 on Saturdays. Happy Halloween, indeed. That's true. Today is Halloween. I forgot that. I put that. This is a spooky hatch, but or a spooky opening. But yeah, I forgot it's Halloween. Uh, Goblimon. A bunch of Goblimon, actually. It's probably why it's 4,000 DP because there's so many of them. All right, so you go in the purple pile over here. We got Sletmon's attack. Something in Norse, I'm sure, that they completely ruined for the uh, English translation, as usual, because his name was also ruined. Patamon. Amongst the leaves. This looks like it's from another card. This little background here. I wonder if this like could make a full art if I was to put it next to something else. I need to look into that later. Death Marimon, perfectly Halloween appropriate. Looks pretty good. Uh, we have Clavis Angemon, the one with the key for some reason. He's a X antibody. Although I don't think X antibodies matter in this one. In the freaking hyper coliseum, X antibodies were just the worst. I mean they were great, but they were also just the worst. And we have Omegamon Alter S. Beautiful. Look at that, it's all shiny. He's got all that gold going on. I like him. Looks beautiful. I love this guy. You know, he's obviously, I'm big into the V-Pets. This guy is major from the uh, V-Pets. He's like the first thing everyone gets on the Digital Monster version 20th. So you, we're going to put you in this pile right here. This will be the two-sleeve pile. Don't worry, these guys will be sleeved after this. I'm just not going to be doing that on camera. All right, where my, why are my scissors all the way over there? Stay over here. Wish I made an Imperial Dramon counterpart. Well, see, that's the thing. Grand Kawagamon kind of is an Imperial Dramon counterpart. He's like 
all down like unless you include or talk about fighter mode because fighter mode is not like super similar the grandest quagamon a lot of people are like that's grand quagamon's fighter mode but i don't agree to such things grandest quagamon is his own dang thing all right we got aquilamon there you go shooting the hoops out playing some b-ball outside the school and a couple of kids are up no good it's gazimon we got tekamon no not tekamon the other guy gyromon classic not the recolor tekamon's the recolor Jaramon's the oh this is black. Uh Turimon. <laughs> I have no idea how to pronounce this guy's name properly. It's a bunch of vowels all mixed up together. But there he is. He's the guy that I don't know where he first came from, but suddenly he was Lotmon's adult form instead of Wendigomon. Um I, I don't know why. I guess I decided Wendigomon was too ugly, which is sad. Wendigomon's pretty nice. We got Flymon, and we got Oh, I should know this one. The Spears claim Solas. The shield is, I don't know, but Masaru punched right through that thing because Masaru is the freaking king. All right. Uh, one that isn't also a Quag. What's wrong with Quagamons? Quagamons are the best. Obviously, as you can tell by my background, I'm a little bit biased when it comes to that, but I want more grandest Quagamon and things. Absolutely, I do too. It's from Hyper Coliseum during Tamers. Okay, so that makes sense. Hey, look, it's a piece of crap. Out of here. All right, we have uh, Holy Angemon. I'll save that one for free flirt. It's a common, so I could probably get another one. Um, we got Scummon doing his thing. It's pretty great art. It's really nice. It's like very not like everything else. I love how many artists they get to work on this series. Kunemon grabbing a little mushroom. Cute. Ah, sweet. Okay, so I did see some of these. That could, the, uh, the old school Hyper Coliseum art style thing. Not like the art style, but the... Uh, Thing they did where they just showed scenes of Digimon doing things. I, for a long time, I thought option cards would just be attacks. And I was like, I, I mean, that's fine, whatever. But this is the kind of crap I like, where it's just cute little scenarios. I love these types of things. Um, blue. All right, we got... Why is that blue? Oh, whatever. Um, we got Durandamon, right? Yeah, Durandamon. Boom. No. Yes. Yes? Yes. No. Yes. Where's this level? Oh, it's... Like, super shiny and impossible to see. Level 6. Yeah, Durandamon, not Duramon. It is hard to tell those two apart for me because they're, like, identical. All right, fine, Sakaimon, you can come up here just because I don't want to lose you later. I mean, I kind of do. I don't like you, but I got to have at least one of you from a book. I'll take that card from you. Our brand of bringing this to English, too? They sure are. This is coming out in English. The first um, release will be the end of this month on Black Friday for those of you in the U.S., um, there will be a pre-sale going on. Not everyone's involved, but um, at least a few of my local game stores are, which is great. I'm excited about that. Uh, we got Tia Ludoman. Very cool. This guy, I think this is like the first time he's been anywhere outside of the V-Pets. Um, so it's cool to see him actually brought in elsewhere. Not that, you know, not that I need him outside of V-Pets, but it's nice to see him there. Same with Commandramon, actually. He was in Hyper Coliseum, I guess, but... Uh, oh, wait, was he in Cyber Sleuth? I don't remember. I didn't play Cyber Sleuth that hard. Actually, yes, I did. I played like 80 hours of Hacker's Memory, but that doesn't mean I remember everything I did. It was more of a, how do I say, just like turn your brain off kind of thing. All right, oh, and there's Raiji Ludomon to go along with Tia Ludomon. And this guy's appearing on the Pendulum Z Virus Busters for no particular reason whatsoever. And then, wait. Oh, did I not have Clavis Angemon before? Was that Slash Angemon before? Because this is definitely Clavis Angemon. Who's the other guy? Go back. Were you people commenting that at me? And being like, you idiot, that's not the right Digimon. This guy's an ex-antibody. Who did I have before? What color was he? Is that him? Yeah, that guy. Oh, that's Valkyriemon. What's wrong with me? <laughs> I'm over here calling it Clavis Angemon. <laughs> Friggin' throw birds on things and I don't... I, I, I can't tell bird people apart. What's wrong with me? All right, Vimon. I, I know that one, at least. I can recognize Vimon. So, good for me. Boom. <laughs> Did they add Clavis Angemon for Shakaomon? Um, I don't know. This should include Vikemon for Shakaomon. It's the classic. People don't like that stuff. Yo, bro, you stay in Michigan? I do not. I have only stayed in Michigan for like an hour on a flight layover one time. That is the longest I have stayed in Michigan. January for the actual release. Right, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the game comes out in full in January. Um, it's just a pre-release that's in um, November. All right, so we got Marimon. Goes good with that death marathon. His head's kind of bigger than normal. That's cool. 
Congratulations on your big head. There's a regular old Angemon. I know that one. There's a piece of crap over there. It's Kaimon. Um, we got Tankmon. We got, oh, okay, Bastemon. How are you doing? Um, we got St. Galgomon, who is large and in charge. And there we go. They're all green. The colors just, they really do just go with whatever color the Digimon is, unless they don't. I don't know. It's very strange how they sort everything here. They say Slash Angemon is now our Mighty Mons Mega. So that's the thing, right? So here's the fun fact of that. If you're talking like O2, right? You're talking about that original Armadi Mon. That original Armadi Mon, his ultimate is still um, Vikemon. That did not change. But if you're talking like Armadi Mons in general, like, yeah, sure, you, Slash Angemon's an option, but the Cody's, Yori's, whatever his name is, his um, Armadi Mon goes into Vikemon. We got Chumon. Cool. We got, oh, there's Duramon. All right. Hey, he's red. See, that's what I'm talking about. He's red here, not metal. And I, whatever. I don't care. Penmon. Okay, that's a beautiful one. I like that one. We got Mummymon doing a thing, whatever that thing might be. We got Greymon, but he's purple. Okay. Whoa. Okay, that's Mastemon. Um, that is shiny as heck. So that's another super rare. So that's going to go over in this pile. I'll, I'll let it be on camera here for a second, though. Um, very shiny. It says some words on it. It's Mastemon. I raised her on the pen 20 once. Boom. Gone. More ads. Why do they put an ad for the TV show in every freaking pack? Of course I already... Uh, I guess kids buy individual packs, don't they? I'm not doing that, clearly, but other people probably would. How good is Beelzebub? I don't know. I'm actually not good at card games, just so you know, but I enjoy playing them. I like playing Magic, but I suck at it. I like playing this game, but I suck at it. I also suck at Hyper Coliseum and uh, the Digi Battle card game, too. Played that against Flurp once and lost. Clockmon. Check him out. I like this guy. He's really cute. Clockmon is super underused, so I'm, I like him. Um, Arachnamon, or, or. I recently found out it's pronounced like. Like it is Arukenimon, right? right, right. But the, the way it's spelled is like really weird. It's like Arachnamon. Like it's not even Arachnamon, it's Arachnamon or something. I don't know. Maybe it's more proper for the. Greek spelling, who knows? There's Galgomon, he green because he's got green ears. Then we got Agumon, but he fell into a coal mine. I think he's gonna get canceled. Um, we have uh, Stingmon and a bunch of bugs. Hi, Stingmon and a bunch of bugs. That's pretty cute. Get that out of here. Ooh, okay, I like this. That's a good looking, just regular old Metal Greymon. Not the incorrect Metal Greymon, the correct Metal Greymon. Penmon should have been in the Pendulum Z. Yeah. I could agree with that. I think the only deep savers that I truly was like, what for was uh, Gizamon. Gizamon's a weird choice for deep savers, but hey, whatever. Seeking running Lilfmon and Piedmon, Mastamon 2, maybe on a wave 3. Yeah, I wish. <laughs> I do not expect a wave 3 of the Penzi. I don't know what they're going to do next. If they are going to do anything next, I hope they do something next. I was worried the X series would be the last thing, and that proved not to be true. So, you know, we probably will get more V pets. Um, I just hope they actually freaking try this time <laughs> instead of just keep it on the nostalgia train they won't though um tailmon but her eyes are closed Ooh, blossom i had no idea blossomon was even in here like whatsoever oh that's cool love blossomon love the gigantic one from savers too hey look another piece of crap uh we got pyildramon doing some desperado blaster is that its name or is it? that's probably the dub name i have no clue otherwise ankilomon dagya bump the camera Sorry. There's regular old Stingmon. There we go. And next pack. Gizamon is a frog. So I mean, it, it does make sense. It's not his first time being a deep saver either. He's been deep saver in the card game before. It was just like for a new device, it just kind of took me by surprise to have him in there. There's not really many other virus options, I guess. What? Did I have a prediction for that? I don't remember. I don't remember if I predicted anything on that. I definitely didn't predict Gizamon happening, but... I feel like I had another option. Um, we have Kreskarumon going bleh. Good job. That's black. We have Mummymon going bleh. Hey, Hawkmon. All right, one of like the five bird children that exist in all of Digimon because they are super uncommon. Candmon, happy Halloween, everybody. Every time we see a spooky Digimon, we gotta say happy out. I didn't say it for Mummymon. Starting with Candmon. Every time we see a spooky Digimon that actually brings me joy, we gotta say happy Halloween. <laughs> I guess I don't get joy from most of them. All right, we have Minomon, and there's Leafmon in the back there. Um, very cute. I actually love him. There's a Tamagotchi named Minochi that I also really, really like. 
Blossom Month's artist is my favorite in the TCG right now. Oh, which one? I'll I'll go back to that and see who that is. We got Shakao Mon. Cool. Everyone's like favorite. Why did they evolve into that Digimon? I like that they did that. I love that in the show there is a Digimon that they actually just freaking went crazy with the design for. No idea what they were thinking when they did that. What if it was if we put a dinosaur and an angel together? How about a weird clay doll thing? Okay. All right. Artist is... Is this a Koki? I have, like, no vision right now. Again, I'm sorry. I'm going to assume that says Koki. If that doesn't say Koki, tell me that doesn't say Koki. If you can't even read it, well, we're just going to assume it's Koki. I tell this now. Bit off topic, but is Digimon World DS good? I don't know. A lot of people seem to like it. It was the first game in the whole story series, and that blew up like crazy. So I'm going to assume that it's pretty well beloved. I know Dawn and Dusk are pretty well beloved, too. So probably all worth it. Um... Love your videos. Thank you, Penny. Appreciate it. Makes sense when you realize Shakamon is supposed to be a robot. Is that what it is? Does that make sense, though? Because <laughs> the dinosaur and the angel are not robots either. But I don't, like. But that's the thing. I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I like that it doesn't make sense. I like when evolutions are weird like that. I like when your new Mimons evolve into Monzemons. That's like the heart and soul of Digimon. It just makes sense. Like Digimon World 3, those, that had some of the best evolution lines ever. Freaking... Uh, Bearmon into Grismon, and then suddenly over into Grappliomon, and then Marsmon. Like, that was the most sensible. But then you had, like, Koemon, who became Hookmon, who became, uh, what was it, Canondramon. No, not Canondramon, the other one. No, yeah, Canondramon. And then he became... No, not Canondramon. Who's the centaur covered in guns? Flip, I don't remember. But either way, I loved that stuff. Uh, we got Andiramon. Cool. Goes over here. We got Dagia. I love Dagia. Best freaking character from Odoo. Okay, this is not exactly a spoiler for Kizuna, but it can be considered a spoiler for Kizuna. So if you've watched Kizuna, do not listen. But I just have to say, Armadiman was the absolute best part of Kizuna because of his ability to be a universal card for d digital card readers. I It was out of nowhere, and I loved it. Okay, Kizuna spoiler is over. Uh, Zuba Egerman, or however the heck, Zuba Egerman. I don't know how they want me to pronounce it, but... There he is with his 20th -ness. Whoa, the crap is this? I hate this Digimon, but I love this art. Like Alrawong, or however you pronounce it, is uh, it's a filthy recolor, of course, but good heavens. The artist did such a good job. Oh, is this the second, same guy? Or am I reading that wrong? Yeah, that's Koki. Or whatever that says. Whatever that says. Okay, so that's the same artist as Blossomon. Dang, yeah. Whoever said that, that's your favorite artist in this. You were spot on. I love this artwork. It's like, ah, oh, it's super cute and unique looking. I really like that. I mean, again, filthy recolor, but you don't get freaking any back talk for that one. Uh, Zubamon, he's the 20th. He doesn't know what that means, but he is the 20th. Rarimon, he is a big old, what, what is he, Hedora? Is that what it is? There he goes. Off into the land with you. More ads. Does anyone want any uh, ads for the Digimon Adventure colon TV show now airing every freaking Sunday morning in Japan. Oh yeah, happy Halloween. There's Rarimon. He's, he's spooky. Sure. <laughs> Just wait till you... Listen, uh, Nizdra Mojimon is like the least offensive out of a lot of the recolors, I guess. He at least has a mustache, but... Um, happy Halloween, Mummy Mon again. Happy Halloween. No, you're not spooky. You're just Commander Mon. You're not spooky at all. You're just cute and wonderful, and I like you. Uh, we got Imperial Mon going, bleh. Is that Positron Laser? Who has Positron? No, someone else has Positron Laser. Is that Metal Tyrannomon? No, he's got Nuclear something or the other. I don't remember. All right, Raiji Ludomon. We got Impmon holding some fire. You keep that up. Whoa. Hey, there's Slepmon. You look pretty freaking cool. That is our super rare. So that's that third one, right? The other ones have all been super rares. You're not a secret rare, are you? Oh, you are a secret rare. Holy crap. So Alter S is my secret rare. <laughs> I didn't even realize that. Good for me. All right, so Slepmon is now over here. Spooky thing is about ads in these packs. Yeah, for sure. The, the good news is, is they at least have memory counters on the other side, but you do not need memory counters. I have so many memory counters just laying all over my house, and I do not need a single one of them. I never will, because I'll have a playmat that has a memory counter built in. I could probably get, like, a freaking cool 21-sided die as a memory counter, too. Just got to figure out how to engineer a 21-sided die, which may not be technically possible. I mean, it's just a life counter. It doesn't need to be even, right? 
So that'd be fine. All right, Mummy Mon doing a thing. Happy Halloween. Death Marimon, happy Halloween. We got Rapid Mon again. We got Tank Mon again. We got, ooh, Air Demon. Hello. You're kind of spooky. Happy Halloween. And we got Lady Debbie Mon, happy Halloween. Can't make heads or tails. Okay, there we go. It took me a second to realize what was happening in this artwork. It was too cute. It is pretty cute art. Expect more really more like vicious things. Alright, and in this one we have who do we got? Who do we have? I bumped the table again. I need to keep the scissors over here. Why do I keep putting them back where it's far away to reach them? In this pack we have Oh, you ride your little one, stop trying to escape. Another Clockmon, another Jewel Beemon, another Aquilamon, another Holy Angemon, and Gardramon waxing nostalgic over the time that he was Huggerumon. Very cute. There's our last super rare. We got Imperial Jamon Dragon Mode, and uh, yeah, looks great. I don't know why I have to specify Dragon Mode. It's just his natural form, stupid standing up version. I hate the stupid standing up version. His natural dragon form is way cooler. If you stop playing this game, you should make a bonfire using solely the memory counters. <laughs> oh, wait, heck, I don't need them now to play it, so I might as well just do it right now. Stuff will keep me warm all through the winter. Here in these harsh Florida winters that we have. All right, Tururamon again. We've got Hawkmon again. we got more Death Marimon. Happy Halloween. Zuba Eager. Hey, that's a new one. We haven't seen Lotmon yet. He's, like, next to a globe. Whose globe is that? What is the backstory of this globe? Tell me, people in the comments, please tell me where this globe came from. I hope they start adding colon monsters of the week to the card game. We'd end up with some great stuff. I'm sure we will. We'll see Nidhogmon soon enough. Uh, we got Mastemon doing a thingy. Um, Happy Halloween. Sure. And yeah, Lotmon's very cute. I like that card. It's a very good card. All right. We're getting close to the end of these right here. Is it in Susie's room? Maybe. That might be what it is. No, don't put the scissors over there. What did I just tell you? That's not where they go. Okay, is my screen doing okay? Suddenly it says I got zero people watching, but nothing's wrong. So I guess all of you left, especially Star, who is still commenting. <laughs> all right, I'm just going to ignore that. Um, just glad I'm watching the stream stats. I don't even mean anything. Rapidmon, Psychmon, ugh. Why is he Metal Empire? Whatever. And Diramon. Hey! New guy. We got Kakinmon and Katsukomon. I always forget which one is which. I am pretty sure Katsuko is the younger one and Kakin is the old. No, that's not right. Well, one of them does not have their name translated in the Pendulum 20th. And that's all I need to know. So, great. Hey! Then we got Metal Mamemon. Look at that cute little bean. So he goes with the uh, Metal Greymon card that I got earlier as a cute little Digimon World thing. Let's let's grab, let's find Metal Greymon real quick. Where, where did he go? Where'd that guy head off to? I got him pretty early, right? Yeah, there you go. No, that's stupid blue gray mod. There we go. That's the good one. And so we just uh, put those together just like that. And bam, they're fighting each other just like that intro. Yeah. It's also great because they're, they're the components for Alter S once they evolve. So that's also very cute. I love Metal Mami Mon being used as a Guru Mon evolution. They reference that in Pen Zero even. It's very cute. By the way, thank you for getting me into B-Pets. Oh, I'm a sorry. That is an expensive hobby to get into, so my condolences to you. But hey, I'm glad to have done it. I love I love this hobby. It's a ton of fun. I love Digimon. I actually just got um, the EM20s for my nieces and nephews. They're in town. So the three oldest ones were like, oh, I kind of want a Digimon. And I'm like, I, listen, that's all you got to say. I'm buying you Digimon now. And it's not like they were like, please buy me a Digimon. But they expressed a passing interest in it. So like, good enough for me. Bought them all at DM20. Happy Halloween, Goblimon. Um, and they've been raising them all day. They've been having a lot of fun with it. So I'm actually very surprised how into it they were. Anjimon. Okay, so this is Gururumon, not Gururumon, right? Well, now you tell the difference. You don't, because whatever. Uh, Belial Vamdemon. Oh, look at you. You're big. Happy Halloween. I always liked him more as a kid than Venom Vamdemon. I just did not care for Venom Vamdemon when I was younger. So when Belial Vam Demon came out, I'm like, oh, that's much better. Yeah, framing some of the Digimon World 1 cards. It's, some of them in general. There's a lot of good cards that are frame-worthy. This artwork. 
Um, there's Patamon again. Why is he blue this time? Whatever. Um, ugh, stupid Patamon. Tailmon with their eyes closed. We got Tialudomon. We got, oh, Perurumon and Poromon. Beautiful. Cute little burbs. Wonderful little burbs. And we got Anjewomon. That'll go great with my Mastemon and Lady Devimon. Great. So we got the normal components for them. The nice thing, okay, so I will say, it was kind of odd to me when they first made this game with everything just evolving into everything else. Like, I wasn't upset about it, but I was like, it's really strange. Why would they do that? But then the fact that they kind of make certain cards work better together than other cards, like, I don't know, that kind of brought me around on it. Like, if you use components that you would normally expect to see for evolution for that Digimon, you usually get more bonuses. Like, they don't have any specific examples right now, but you know what I'm talking about. There's Gazimon. Happy Halloween, I guess. Let's Greymon doing a thing. We got Kunemon eating that mush. Dagya. Boltmon. Dang, look at him. I didn't know he was in here. Happy Halloween indeed. That's a good Frankenstein. And we have... What was that? What the crap is that? I can't tell... Oh, oh that's Brewell Ujimon. Yeah, right? Yeah, that is. There, there he is. It's, I'm, I'm used to seeing some of these Digimon in one pose over and over again that I forget what they uh, look like from other angles. Or like, I, I don't even imagine it. So... Yeah, there you go, Bruel Lundermann. Very cool. And then we have... In this next pack. Remember that time that I called Valkyriemon, Clavis, Angemon? Those are good times. But here's Canmon. Happy Halloween. Looking great. We have Duramon. We've got stupid garbage. Happy Halloween. We got Agumon covered in coal again. Hey, Devijmon. That's neat. I like him. He cool. X V Man. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was the end of that pack, I guess. Thought there would be more for some reason. Alright, in this one we have oh, didn't cut that one all the way through. To force it. Alright, we got Kreskurumon doing a thing. I haven't seen Kreskurumon yet. He's probably a super rare, so I probably won't be getting him. Dokugumon, Mummymon, Happy Halloween. The only good Alaramon in existence. Whoa, hi Metal Edamon, how you doing? And Kerubimon being all fluffy. Good stuff. That rounds out Lotmon's line, doesn't it? I got all of that. I think I, did I get Terriermon yet? No, I don't have all the bunnies just yet. Even though everyone's like, Terriermon's a dog. It's like, okay, but he's also clearly a rabbit. He's like a dog rabbit. All right, uh, we got another Penmon. We got an Arachnamon. Happy Halloween. Mummymon doing a thing. Scummon with his cool art. Chibimon and Chikomon stealing something from Gazi. Wait, what's happening there? Like, Chikomon is being launched from Gazimon and then latching on to Chibimon's tail. Cute. Aw, scared Wormmon. He's all scared. I like how in the Japanese dub, or the Japanese version of O2, where Amon's just like this cute little child voice, and then in <laughs> the dub, he's all like, Yes, master, I'm Wormmon. I'm an old man now. It's, I, he went freaking way far from what his original voice was. It's very... I never, a lot of Digimon did that, too. Like, a lot of them were given, like, random old man voices for whatever reason. Savers, I think, was one that did that with Falcomon. Like, when I first heard Falcomon's dub voice in Savers, I was very confused. <laughs> Garamon's only form that looks like a dog is the last one. Yeah, and like that one, I, it also makes sense because it's like Saint Galgamon, so it's like Saint Bernard, whatever, I get it. But yeah, like dogs don't have rab rabbit ears. That's definitely a rabbit. That's Galgamon the rabbit. Marimon, Happy Halloween. Tankmon, Blossomon again. Yeah, that's some good art. Do they do an old little art too? I should check. Oh, I haven't seen Blacktailmon yet. But there it is. And oh my gosh, I haven't even seen any tamers. Oh, we had Dice K. That's right, we had Dice K up first. And this is Mimi. Second tamer, so I haven't seen a lot of them come through. Not good for uh, deck building, but oh well. I think this is the last pack. Is this the last pack? Any others hiding around here? No. So yeah, this is the last pack, and then I got a couple other uh, promotional packs to open. All right, so let's open up this last one. Let's hope for something good. Let's get that uh, secret extra super special fourth super rare that I've never gotten in any pack I've ever opened. Oh, off to a good start. It's Galgomon again. Duramon, Tialudomon, Gazimon. Hey, Terriermon. There he goes. Why is he hanging out with Chocomon? What do you think you're doing? Oh, you know what? That, that would be adorable if it's like, oh, well, you start with your first egg, right? You start Terriermon. Six hours later, 
you can choose your other egg because he evolved, and now you got Chocomon to go along with uh, Terriermon. It's cute. And then we got Ken. He, okay, listen. Ken as the Digimon Emperor was great, okay? Great design. Great everything. Ken as Ken has the most boring design of all time. Like, his outfit. My goodness, everyone else is over there. Like, have you seen him standing next to Miyako? She's got, like, all these crazy floofs coming off of her jacket and all these flames all over, all over Dice K and... Even Iori has, like, something going on. But Ken is just, like, not just plain gray shirt and pants. So, eh, I don't know. <laughs> it's, like, I like him as a character a lot. I think his character development is really good. Even if Zero Two is not my favorite, I do appreciate Ken as a character. It's just, man, his design could be so much better. So there we go. That's all of our, uh, all those cards. That leaves us with two more packs here. So we have, let's pull. There we go. So we have our parallel card first. Let's see what that will be. Do you think we will get a Digimon Emperor Tamer card? <sighs> I don't know. Anything's possible. At first I thought they were only going to be taking from Adventure Colon for the Tamer cards, but then they really started branching out. We got even video game Tamer cards. Um, I would expect to see the Digimon Tamers crew before I would see um, Digimon Emperor and maybe eventually even see like Savers. I don't know if they would include Frontier Kids or not since they weren't really Tamers, but who knows? We'll see. But either way, here's our parallel card, our secret one. What is it? Who is it? Who's our special artwork? It's Ankilomon. It's got a little security thingy in it, I guess. I wasn't too, like, thrilled about these ones. I guess they're not ever really super great, but whatever. It's cute, I guess. So that you can go in the pile. Um, and then we have the promotional pack from something or the other. I have no recollection of what this is from at all. So if anyone knows, tell me. But... I'll go ahead and open it. We'll see what's in here. It says there's four cards, but it only feels like one. This does not feel like four cards unless they're very light. Yeah, that's definitely one card, not four. Um, but it is Atler Kabuterimon. Cool. There he is. Makes me wonder if this could have been Zudomon. Did I miss out on something? What the crap did this come from? What is this? What is this that I've ordered? <laughs> so there's four options, and I got this one. I have no idea. So I don't know what that was. I ordered it at the same time as this, but if uh, that means something, then great. What's the... What is this as Booster 1? This is just a Booster 1? Oh, is it parallel art, a different art, I guess? What the frick? I don't even know. They're promo cards, yeah, but like... What is... What is this? What is it a promotion for? Was it a prize card? I don't know. Who knows what that might be? I certainly don't, obviously. All right, let's put that back on. There we go. Okay, so that is all of our cards. So that's great. We went through all of them. I have two more boxes. I'm not going to open up the boxes on camera because, listen, as fun as this is, I don't think anyone truly wants to just sit here for three hours and be like, all right, there's another Galgamon. Great. Um, I don't, at least. I will probably just open these very quickly and be like, okay, 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 sleeve them up. Good to go. Throw in the binder. And, uh, yeah. So that was fun. Um, like I said, I'm not going to be doing another Japanese card opening in the future just because the English card game is coming out. I'll probably do an English card opening, but I will not be continuing to collect the Japanese cards just because it would be kind of silly of me to do so, to be honest, if they're all coming out in English anyway. Um, get the Canmon card frame. I, there's a few of these I think would look great framed. A lot of good art in here. Um, but yeah, looking forward to the 27th. I got to call my game stores to see how it's going to go down. Black Friday is a busy day, so... I mean, I don't go shopping on it, but everyone else does. So we will see how that goes. Um, and, yeah, I'm, I guess that's it for now. Um, not looking to see any new Pendulum Z news this weekend, uh, just because we got all the rosters now, so that's cool. That's fun. Even if the I'm not a big fan of the Virus Busters roster, we know what it is. So nothing else that really needs to be revealed there. And... Yeah, so uh, hopefully those of you who are also collecting this, these cards, hopefully you got a few draw, good draws. I'm happy with my Alter S. I'm happy with the uh, Imperial Dramon. Who was my other one? Mastemon. Yeah, I, I could take or leave Mastemon. I don't truly care. Um, but yeah, thank you all for hanging out. I want to know what the question is. Yeah, me too. Um, thank you all for hanging out. This is uh, always a fun time. I like doing these things with you all. And uh, yeah, I'll be streaming again whenever the Pendulum Z hits me once I receive it I'll be streaming me unboxing it opening it starting it up and debugging it to figure out all of its juicy juicy secrets and uh yeah anyway I will talk to all of you later I hope you have a wonderful weekend and a fantastic Halloween wherever you are see ya